I recently switched to Starbond CA glue. They say it's the freshest on the market, so I know it will always taste great. I thought it would be a good two minute tool tip to show how I use CA glue and blue tape in conjunction. This is an adaptation from two separate tips. The first from the Wood Whisperer on using blue tape and CA glue in place of double sided tape. And the second is from Mike Pekovich who uses blue tape to lay out dovetails. Let's start with my favorite tip, installing butterflies. Put blue tape over the offending check. Also put blue tape on the underside of the butterfly you're installing. Spray one piece with accelerator and put CA glue on the other piece and voila, instant bond. Now that it's in place, trace your key with your shop made marking knife and when you peel away the butterfly you end up with a perfect outline to cut to. Rat out the bulk of the waste of the router off camera and sneak up on your lines with a chisel. Chamfer the bottom corners, lather it up with wood glue and persuade it into the mortise. Flush it up with your super sharp hand plane, and since the grain direction is perpendicular to one another, finish it off with an orbital sander. Nice and tight. For my next trick, I'll be making a more linear mortise. This one we'll cut with a router and a guide bushing installed. I made a jig from scraps and glued it together with the CA glue. Then when I found the position of the mortise, I simply put down blue tape and that same accelerator on one piece, CA glue on the other. Uh, the guide bushing slides in the groove and gives me a perfect mortise in this leg. So there are two tips in two minutes on how to use CA glue and blue tape. And just for fun, let's try Mike's method of laying out dovetails with blue tape. I like to start with the tailboard. This dove has two tails. I bet that'd be a funny looking bird. Once my tails are cut, I put blue tape on the end of my pin board and transfer the layout from the tailboard. Peel away the tape on the waist portion, and now I have a clear visual representation on what to cut as well as a sort of knife wall substitute for my saw plate to reference against to start the cut. Cut the kerfs for the pins and remove the waist with a fret saw. March back to your lines with a chisel and sh I rushed the fit and split the tailboard. Well, you get the idea. I flush up the pins and tails with a number four and try to hide my boo-boo with glue and sanding. Even with the splits, it's a decent fit and I can see how this would be a good aid when cutting dovetails. I read about that trick in Mike's new book, The Why and How of Woodworking which is an incredibly beautiful and thoughtful book. I would expect nothing less from the art director of Fine Woodworking. I got a signed copy from my wife for Christmas, but you can order yours through the link in the description, which helps me out a little. And speaking of helping me out, I'm also a Starbond affiliate. I joked in the beginning about it being the freshest on the market, but it's true. They really are the freshest glues, and I've tried a bunch of CA, and they truly are my favorite. They always seem to fuse my fingers together better and faster than other brands I've used. And if you want to lose your fingerprints while supporting my channel, check out the link below to buy some Starbond through my affiliate. That's it for now, and as always, thanks for watching.